morning. Hey friend, this is not like a build video, but more like an explanation as to why I choose uh, crits over weapon damage and over um, armor. So hopefully, even though my English is limited, safe area detected. That you guys could get it, uh, an understanding as to why having crits in your build is so damn important. Now let me just try to get at the firing range. Okay, so if you take a look at my build, even though I'm rocking 313k armor, my base damage is 19. Three. My stats 60% crit chance, which is the cap, and I have 125 crit damage. I believe the cap is 136. Now, my last video I was kind of rushing because I needed to go to work, so I didn't go into the mods and how I got so much crit damage. If we go into our uh, my weapon, as you can see, I only have three bullets. You might ask why. I'm rocking all crit damage mods. Crit damage on the optic, 10% crit damage on the magazine. So I, I'm not using the 20% uh, the 20 bullets magazine. Now I'm rocking the new specialization, which gives me this specific mod, which is 10% crit damage. I believe we have one that has five. And on the muzzle, I'm using again crit damage. So on the weapon itself, I have 30% crit damage you might think oh crit damage but crit damage guys is literally weapon damage now if you see my base damage it says 19.3 once I step into the dark zone my weapon damage is gonna be normalized crit chance and crit damage do not get normalized so if you go into the stats and you see PvP weapon damage if I were to have zero crit chance zero crit damage all my bullets are gonna be white numbers and they're literally gonna be 13,302 damage that I will make per bullet to a PvP player now okay let me see how I can put this the easiest way so let me see if I can go to YouTube now I'm gonna use this video as a reference. Um, I have a lot of other videos, but this is like the easiest way for me to explain it. Now, if you see on my left here, I enabled the weapon damage. Let me show you how to do that in case you didn't know. Uh, you go into the chat, you press this little arrow, come back info, and show damage numbers. Now you could do it this way, but it's harder to show video because the numbers are so small now if we go into this video since I'm doing PvP here if you see on my left this is the base damage now it says 16k instead of 13 ah by the way when you get to PvP it, it, it gets so heavily modified that even though on the stats that I showed you earlier uh, says 13k when you step into the dark zone your base damage goes even lower so it was saying on the um so here it's saying that i have 19.3 if i step into the dark zone this is gonna go to like 18.3 so the actual um base damage is gonna be like 12.5 all right so let's go into the video so as you can see here on the left out of eight bullets three six eight out of eight bullets six were crits now, when you take in comparison, base damage. Now, it says 16K because uh, I have half of the magazine, meaning uh, measure was active, which is extra weapon damage. Out of eight bullets, look at the difference. So, if I have zero crit, 16K per bullet. Now, if you add all of these numbers, let me do the math real quick. Let me do it on screen so you can see this one. Sorry, sorry if this video uh, it's kind of long. I just want you to understand. Times eight. That's 132k damage that you're gonna do to a PvP player. 
Now if we add all these individual numbers. Guys, look at the difference. That's almost twice as much. Now, crits are gonna be different all the time. They're not gonna be the same. It depends on where you shoot your player. So, let me back the video a bit. Let's see here. Look at the crits. There were literally more crits than regular numbers. Let me see here. 53. 41. Boost. About to act. Boost online. Sixty four. Let's look at the weapon. Seventy one K crit. The boost has been taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. Man, the damp you see these are base numbers. Man, having weapon a uh, uh, crit chance on your build is just amazing. So again, 60, 125. Now you could do different types of uh, crit build. You could choose if you don't have that much crit damage. You could go with this talent, which whenever you deplete an enemy's army, you get an extra 30% crit damage. Now for me, this is not worth it because I already have 25. Uh, 125 sorry so i will get only like 11 percent extra crit damage i could use train on my weapon which is an extra uh crit damage let me see if i have you get five percent crit damage every time uh 10 percent of your armor is depleted for me again it's not worth it most of the time i'm full on armor so i don't need since i'm not using um berserk or clutch I don't care about having strain. Now this talent is really good if you have like a 60, 80 crit build. A uh, killer killing an enemy uh, with a crit grants 50% critical hit damage. Uh, let me see if I can show you the difference. Now I didn't use that for mass because it's a uh, short on the barrel, so I wouldn't be able to use the 10% uh, crit damage. Not even the five, so I will have to go for accuracy or crit chance if I didn't have enough crit chance. Let's see here. Crit damage. So I have 60, 115. Uh, with this, uh, we'll get an extra, like, what, 21% uh, crit damage. is very practical. But remember, if you don't have enough crit, it's going to be really hard to practice. Look at the numbers. And you don't have to risk the uh, cooldown to reach the zero in order to practice. I mean, you do crit, it, it, it will restart. You can literally have this on all the time. Alright, so what else can I say? I see a lot of people using this weapon, but for me it's not worth it because I gotta get like really close and personal in order to get the 15% weapon damage. And in PvP, it's not like a real big difference. So let's say my numbers, 
uh, 13k base it will go to like 18 20 when I proc it uh, so this is good for like a high armor build or clutch build clutch will be perfect with this weapon now let me see so the number one mistake that I see when it comes to PvP I see a lot of people running with a lot of armor thinking oh I have so much armor I'm gonna melt everyone and looking at the base damages oh I got 20k base weapon damage so much damage I'm gonna kill everyone no your base damage is gonna be around 12k 13k and that's all you're gonna see white numbers now let me put something immediate medical assistance like needed Alright, so this is what I mostly see in the Dark Sun. Uh, it'll be two pieces through Patriot to get that extra um, total armor. Now, guys, let me see my stats if I have any crit chance. Oh, I still got a lot of crit damage. Fuck. Let me remove all the mods. Maybe use accuracy here. Accuracy here. damage again when you go to pvp the base damage is going to drop so normally this is what you will see see mostly white numbers. it's gonna be like extremely hard for you to get a crit those yellow numbers that you're seeing is because of the merciless So I see people running this build, not exactly with this island, uh, but something similar. Uh, base time is 17k when you go into the dark zone, remember, it gets a lot less. So around 12k. Do I have any crits in this build? 10. Sometimes it's not worth it to sacrifice weapon damage over armor. So even though I'm rocking 300k armor, I get more kills and I survive more than players with 500k armor. If you take a look at the example here. 
Now this is this doesn't always happen. I might die more. But look at uh, an example. One of these guys was rocking like 550k armor. I didn't die once, and I was rocking 313k armor. So do not get like um. What could I say? Don't hesitate to choose crits over armor, cause it's really not that important. If you're not a play and you do cover to cover, you get in cover. You have also playing uh, with a good team. It um, it's extremely important. If there's no communication in the team, you will definitely die. Now, one downside is. Other than the armor is that I, I don't use um, hazard protection like at all so if you were to use skills on me I will die but I have this talent right here uh, stop drop and roll so every 60 seconds I can get the immunity off now if I'm playing with players they have skill based builds I will rock this talent a lot of people don't know about this but this is literally 100% immunity for 30 seconds whenever I kill someone with a headshot. It requires four blues or more. Now this max is not fully optimized because I didn't want to waste the 11% crit chance on this mask. So whenever I use this, it drops me back to 70, uh, 57.5, which is not a deal breaker. That did not go according to the plan. <laughs> oh my lord. I didn't know you could die at the White House. Oh my god. Alright, let me go back at it again. Um, I don't know if this is like a good explanation. I'll try my best. Now, let me do it in Spanish so my uh, Spanish speaking people know the difference. Uh, mi gente, hola, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Antrax. Hoy quería traerle un video diferente. Quería explicarles la diferencia entre los críticos, el daño de arma y no tener críticos. Uh, yo veo muchas personas en la zona oscura que prefieren tener mucha armadura y creen que porque tienen mucha armadura y ven que su daño base del arma es alto, ellos creen que por eso todas las balas que pegan van a hacer ese daño que hice acá en el arma y no, no es así cuando entras a la zona oscura tu daño de arma o el daño um, el daño de arma básicamente es normalizado so de 19k que ustedes vieron en la página principal en pvp aunque aquí dice 13 va a bajar como a 12k So, una persona que tenga cero críticos, cada bala que, peg que pegue en la pantalla te va a salir un número blanco. Ese es el daño que tú le vas a hacer a un jugador. Now, si cogemos ese número como referencia, cada número blanco que yo le pego a un jugador le va a hacer un daño de 13,000. Uh, una persona que tenga crítico, aunque aquí diga que mi arma. En PvP va a pegar 13k. Como ya yo estoy casi en el cap. El cap de daño crítico es 136 o 135. Miren esto. De 8 balas que pegué ahí. Solamente 2 fueron regulares. Las otras fueron todos críticos. Como pueden ver 93k. 93k. 126. Y 45k. Eso es increíble el daño de arma que ustedes hacen cuando tienen críticos. Uh, so, muchas personas se van otra vez por la ruta. Déjame ver si me puedo poner el build que puse ahorita. Vamos 
muchas personas usando algo como eso. Un ejemplo, mira, eso no tiene ni mods, mira cuánto tengo la armadura. Si ven el. Déjame ponerme la Rail Splitter porque aquí tengo 30% de daño crítico. Señores, miren, la forma más fácil de explicarlo. Daño crítico es básicamente daño de arma. O sea, aquí ustedes ven, yo tengo 3, 30% de daño crítico. Eso equivale más o menos como a 15, 20% de daño de arma. Ahora, si me pongo esta arma, el daño base fuera de la zona oscura, 17k. El daño en PvP es 12k. Aquí todavía tengo mucho daño crítico. No sé por qué. ¿Por qué tengo tanto daño crítico? Ah, porque tengo un poco de daño crítico ahí. Anyways. Todos los números que vas a pegar van a ser blancos. Acuérdense, 21k no va a ser el daño base. Va a ser 12 y pico. So, una persona que use este tipo de build en PvP va a pegar 12k. Y casi siempre... Porque tengo un poco de crítico Van a ser números blancos Una persona con este tipo de build Para matar a un jugador Tiene que usar uno o dos clips Para hacer un daño de 450k O de 500k Yo con mi build regular Y no le estoy diciendo que mi build es el mejor Ni que tienen que usarlo Pero para que ustedes vean la diferencia Entre el Tener críticos y no tener críticos Y aunque tenga 300k de armadura A veces Dependiendo del equipo con el que estoy jugando Yo pueda sobrevivir Más que una persona que tenga más de 500 de armadura Dependiendo de cómo ustedes jueguen so, Si toman el build Que no tenía crítico Y lo y lo comparan a este Como pueden ver Casi siempre pego críticos Y el daño es increíble porque cuando lo comparas con los números regulares, el triple, el cuatruple. Cuatruple, no sé si es una palabra que exista, perdón. Pero miren la diferencia. El daño es increíble. Yo les recomiendo a todo el mundo que se haga un build de daño. Que ¿Qué más quería decirles? Para el nuevo patch que viene, eh, los builds así de DPS van a ser muy y creo que ahora vas a poder ponerle daño crítico a todas las piezas so, no vas a estar tan limitado porque el problema con el update actual es que el daño crítico solo puedes poner en el pecho en la pistolera y en la mochila como atributo tienes la opción de usar critical que te da 15% de daño crítico en el guante o en la pistolera como talento bueno, por ahora eso es todo lo que quería decirles. Uh, espero que sea un poco menos confuso la diferencia entre críticos y no críticos. Uh, eso es todo por hoy, mis hijos. Gracias por ver y que tengan un buen día.